And now joining us to talk about home equity and the economy and to look at the prices of mortgages today is the president of Wilsey Asset Management, Brent Wilsey. Good morning. Good morning, Ginger. Good to be here. A great topic, too, because this is something that, you know, everybody, pretty much everybody mm -hmm. is affected to buy. But, you know, what I'm curious about is what is home ownership going on? What's the percentage right now? High, low, where are we at? It's actually pretty high. I mean, it's about 63.3% uh, right now is home ownership, which is pretty high. And what's great about that, Ginger, is is about, uh, what is it, about, um, gosh, I forgot the number now, 63% uh, uh, have a mortgage. And what that means is that 37% of people own the home outright, which wow. is a phenomenal number to have. And we don't hear about this generally on the news because you'll hear all about the, the bad stuff. There's some great things going on with our economy and our, our home ownership and mortgages and so forth here in the country. So 30, over 30%, a third of our homeowners mm -hmm. own their home and don't have to make that payment every month. That's right. Wow, that's incredible. Uh, as we're talking about payments, though, what kind of mortgages are people taking out as far as the numbers go? You, you know, generally, right now, because rates are so low, they generally try and do the 30-year mortgage because it works out much better to have that rate locked in, especially these low rates. So you do under the 30-year mortgage if you're going to go that direction. That's what they're generally doing. But what I like too, Ginger, is looking back where we stand on the default rate right now or people that are late on their payments, 30 days late, it's about 3% of people are 30 days late. Now compare that to 2010, where it was nearly 12%. Mm -hmm. and, and I was thinking about this when I saw the stat, it's like, wait a minute, over my lifetime, I know I've been late my mortgage once or twice over that time frame because you just kind of forgot to make the payment and then the something next happens. month something sure. happens yeah so take that away and it's much lower people have jobs they're making money they're paying the mortgages we have such a strong housing market right now in the country it's just phenomenal okay what about the difference between the 30 year and the 15 year because you said it's better to lock in that rate but what about those people that are saying oh you know what I'm I'm gonna wait I'm gonna get that adjustable I'm gonna you know try and ride the market out you're saying that's not the time to do that you should lock it in right now? You know, it's funny because over the, the history, it's been proven that adjustable is better than a fixed over the 30-year mortgage. However, mm -hmm. those stats are based when rates were much higher and they've come down. I think over the next 30 years, it could actually reverse because now rates are so low. I don't think an adjustable is going to be good. If you're going to be in that house probably much more than five to seven years, I think it'd work against you doing an adjustable versus a fixed in, in that respect. What are the average numbers today as far as mortgages and new mortgages? Because I saw your numbers when right. you sent them in and they shocked me, but you have to make a point about them. Well, well yeah, the average mortgage right now, this is nationwide, so don't <laughs> okay. get it. We're nationwide, in California. Right, right, yeah, that's yeah. the key. The, the average mortgage is 148000 <laughs> That's what people are carrying now. Mm -hmm. And the average new mortgage is 260000 So a lot of these are not in San Diego. These are the averages. So you got are some any of these in San Diego? There's no way. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, there are, because actually we've seen some clients where they'll put down, I don't agree with it, they'll put down 30, 40, 50 percent and have a small mortgage. I don't think that's the right way to go. But why, people, why not? Hey, if I had 30, 40, 50 to put down, I'd be sure. pretty, I'd be dancing. But why, why not put that money into your house? Great question. Because what happens is that if you have a 50 percent down payment, you're saving maybe a 4 percent mortgage. Right now, APR is around 4, 1, 4, 2 is where they're at. Well, I tell people over 10 years, if I can't earn you better than 5 percent mm -hmm. in your investments, then you need to fire me. And I wouldn't be in business for 40 years like I've been doing this. That's pretty interesting. Yeah. So uh, better bet to invest that money if you have it than pay down a, a smaller mortgage payment every month. Yeah, yeah. And we're, we're pretty confident. We always tell people we can earn 8, 10 percent. So why would you pay, you know, say for one, you know, 4.1, 4.2 percent makes no sense there. All right. Let's talk about the total, total mortgage debt right now. Where are we at? Yes. Uh, and, and that was an amazing number. Total mortgage debt, $10.3 trillion. Wow. That sounds like a lot of money. Yeah. However, the equity that's owned in all those houses is $15.5 trillion. And the way I like to bring that out, Ginger, is because just think about that. What do you do when you have equity in your home? Like, you know what? The carpet needs to be replaced. I need yeah. new windows and so forth. You take out a home equity line of credit. Yes. Make some improvements. Make some improvements. And just imagine if 10% of those people take that money out, which is $1.5 trillion dollars, what is that going to do to our GDP and our economy? Oh, that's a nice shot in the arm yes, right there. Yes, that's a great shot in the arm, wow. yes. And also, too, that is tax deductible as long as you're using mm -hmm. it to redo your home or re, you know, model your home or something. Yeah, so if you take out a home equity line of credit and then you pay off credit cards, you can't use that as no. a, wow, okay. Yeah, yeah. So, so invest in your investment, in, in other words. Yes, yes. Good and, advice. And what you can do is make sure that when you're doing that, you might be using money that you'd use to do those remodels. No. 
borrow from your home, deduct that, then use other money to pay off your credit cards. All right, you've got a, a, a little bit of a workshop coming up. Tell us where, Yes, when, yes, what? it's going to be uh, June 20th uh, in Scripps Ranch, um, and it's going to be at 6.30. Um, and Scripps Ranch there, and uh, we start right at 6.30, and we show people what we do, how we do, and how to make money investing so you don't get that 4.1% mortgage. You yeah. make money investing your money. You just said it. Give him your money, and if he doesn't make you more than that over 10 years, fire him. Okay. That's right. <laughs> Once I have that money, I'll give it to you, Brent. You got it. <laughs> All right, thanks for joining us All right, this morning. Ginger. Great information. Okay, Memorial Day, of course, is tomorrow, and there are many events happening across the county this weekend to honor those 